Hello and welcome to my tutorial. So this tutorial will be uh, assuming you have some knowledge of Unreal um, and it will be more straight to the point. So what we're going to do is a moving platform that reacts to a pressure plate and you could do it with a physics object. Okay, Very useful for puzzle games, platform games, cooperation games, um, plenty of things you can play with in your, in your game. So the first thing we're going to do is you should have a folder for what you're going to do. Uh, get organized is important, so right click and what I'm going to do is a blueprint actor and the first one we're going to do is moving platform. And then we're going to need another one, which is an actor as well, BP tree, uh, sorry, pressure plate. So let's start with the moving platform. The moving platform will need a platform. So we're going to use a cube, you can use a static mesh, you can you know, make it yourself in a 3D software. And I'm going to make it 2x2, two 2, 0, 1, and I'm going to move it a little bit higher, somewhere like 10, so it's not in the floor. And that's that. Next we need a component called interp to movement which is going to interpolate the movement between different control points which is useful so we can do the movement we are we want according to the different control points we create in here you see uh, and the duration but we're going to control that from the editor itself so behavior type we will want to use a ping pong from start to end and back to the start and so what we'll need in here is an array that cont contains all our, I'm going to call that waypoints, but could call them control points as well. And I'm going to expose them so we can access them in the editor. It's not, of course, Boolean, it's an inter control points variable and it's an array. Okay, I'm going to expose on spawn, I'm going to compile and save. The next one we're going to need is a float for the duration. So I'm going to call it duration, I'm going to expose it as well, and I'm going to make it a float single variable. Expose this one as well. Compile and save, and we're going to give it a duration of 5 seconds to start with. So we've got pretty much everything we need uh, to get started. First we need to initialize all this, so waypoint, get a waypoint, int up movement, uh, we'll need duration, but I'll take it after. So what we want to do is set our control points from for the interpactor and we pass the array. Okay. So we initialize those and then we need to initialize the duration, but the duration inside the inter movement. So set duration, grab your variable, plug it in here and set it there. I want to keep the video under 15 minutes so I'm going a bit fast. As I said there's a longer video if you want to know more and take more of your time. So here uh, we need one more thing which is uh, from the interpactor again set auto activate and we make sure this is not activated from the start and that's pretty much what we need in here now in the event graph we're going to get rid of this we don't want to use the event tick as much as possible we're going to use instead things like custom events very useful and that one we will use it when the pressure plate is activated we're going to need another custom event which will be when the pressure plate is deactivated okay so what do we do when when someone step or a physical object hits the pressure plate so we want our moving platform to start moving so we need to activate it because we deactivated it remember auto activate not activated so 
from there set active and we make sure new active and we need to do one more thing that will allow us to pause and pause the movement uh, pause and resume that is by using the tick set component tick enabled okay so when it's paused we activate oh when it runs when it moves we activate and when it's deactivated wait deactivate simple as that so here you have on this side what allows you to pause and unpause make sure the component the movement component is activated here okay but these are custom event that we will have to call from inside the pressure plate so for the pressure plate we're going to need to set up what it looks like. First, we're going to go and create a base. Same, I'm using a cube again, probably 2 by 2 by 0 0.1. Uh, and then we're going to need another cube for the pressure plate itself. So, pressure plate. And the size, 1.9. 1.9 and 0 0.2 should do the job just fine. I'm going to move it to a height of 10. I'm going to quickly give it a material as well or a material instance, a blue one. So we have it at 10, and when you press it, you want to go down to let's say minus 4. Okay, from 10 to minus 4 on Z. Okay, remember that? That's what we're going to need to to use. So, to be able to trigger this, we're going to need a box collision. Okay, and that's going to be called uh, trigger volume volume uh, don't have to parent it. Just going to leave it there. Um, we're going to change the box extent to, I believe, 95, 95, and 20 will do the job. Just there. So we've got enough to overlap. And we're going to check. Uh, character can step up no, And I'm going to make it overlap all, so anything that goes through it can trigger it. Just make sure genera generate overlap event is activated. This is what we're going to use and we're going to need a few more things um, yes we're gonna do it now uh, what we need <coughs> is the plat <coughs> platform uh, to activate our target platform and we're gonna expose it as well so since it's a moving platform it's the BP the blueprint we created BP moving platform and that's all we gonna need here if I go in the event graph now right click on trigger volume and we're gonna add a begin overlap and we're gonna add an end overlap as well so what happens when we go inside the trigger volume and what happens when we leave it whether it's the character or any objects according to how we set it up so one thing I want to do first is to check that the target platform is valid so you can right click on the pin and convert to validate so here I'm gonna copy and paste here when we um, when we stop overlapping to avoid errors and then when if it's valid then we want to call our custom event so we can go grab from the target platform here and we called it pp activated and this one will be called pp deactivated so you see we call the custom events that we made here in the moving platforms okay so what do we do uh, once it's activated. So just that should make the platform move. Uh, if I'm right, let's, if 
I haven't forgotten anything on the way. If I play, I can try. No, it's not <laughs> moving. Um, yeah, simply because, like I said, we need to make sure we give it a target platform. And there's going to be another issue, that's why it's not going to move, is our platform has no waypoint. So if I place two, and you can see them inside, grab one, and that's the correct one. There. It's moving, it takes five seconds to go from point zero to point one. And, but you notice the pressure plate doesn't move, so that's what we've got to do. And to do that, we can use a timeline which we're going to call PP Anim, and that timeline will drive um, the movement on Z of our pressure, pla pressure plate. So 0. Whoa, sorry about that. 0 0.3 should do the job, and we're going to use a float. So PP height for the track name be useful. Add a keyframe. Add a keyframe first keyframe should be at time 0 and earlier I asked you to remember the Z value so we start at a value of 10, height of 10 and 0 0.3 for the end of our timeline and we should be at minus 4 let's frame it, I'm just gonna change by right clicking this and we got a movement that's a little bit more interesting compile a save and back to our event graph so we've got that and when we deactivate we reverse it but at the moment it's doing nothing because what we want to do is move the pressure plate so the pressure plate you grab it from there and what we want in here is to set its relative location Update. now it's a vector so we can right click and split and then we got access to the Z value and I've compile and save normally everything is already set so now it works the pressure plate goes down and when it's an object it works the same excellent now if I grab the platform here and I decide I want more so this one is the point three so that's the last one I'm gonna place it maybe down here this one I'm gonna move it a bit higher and this one is point two I'm going to move it over here, well, I'm going to move it here so you see you can have diagonals and if I play, now the platform is moving, still taking 5 seconds to go all the way over there and if I move out, there, easy, duplication, alt, drag, alt, drag and this one now we need to make sure we give it the other platform play that's that one that's that one and you can you see you can easily choose and you see how in a, a puzzle game this could be interesting whoops to uh, place platforms the way you like to be able to reach areas or whatever you want to do and that's it so that's a bit quick I hope you liked it uh, if you want a longer version with more detail it's also on my youtube channel please I hope you enjoyed thank you very much